Hi, it's Miss Elizabeth from Buncombe Street United Methodist Church. Welcome to our Red Letter Summer. What's a Red Letter Summer, you might ask? Well, some Bibles have red letters in them, and those letters are the words that Jesus said. This summer, we'll be looking at some of those red letters to see what more we can learn from Jesus. Join us. Now that we're at the worship table or sacred space, I'll light the candle. And we'll sing a song. Everyone have your light? Ready? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. I'm going to let it shine, hide it under a bushel. No! I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Great job, everybody. Now we're gonna kick off our red letter summer. In some Bibles, all of the words that Jesus says are written in red letters. So all of the stories that we tell this summer are gonna be stories that Jesus told. Our story for today is called Salt and Light. When Jesus spoke from the mountainside, he always had important things to say. See Jesus, he's standing on the side of a mountain and everyone is listening to him. One story Jesus told as he was stand, teaching from a mountain was about how we are like salt and light. Jesus said, you can be like salt to the rest of the world. The people were a bit confused. Us, like salt? You know, salt, like the stuff you sprinkle on your food when you're sitting at the table. Jesus continued, salt is important. It keeps food from going bad and makes it taste better too. Just a few specks of salt may not seem like much, but it makes a big difference in the food that we eat. You may feel like a tiny speck of salt, but you are important. What you do makes a difference in the world. The people began to understand. You can be like light to the rest of the world too. The people were curious about how Jesus would explain this. Even a small lamp can light up a big room, said Jesus. Even though you are just one person, what you do and say changes the world around you. You shouldn't hide the bright light that you are. Show the love you have for God all day, every day. Then Jesus said, God gave the Israelites special rules and leaders to help you all live God's way so that you can be like salt and light to the world. I come to help you follow the rules so that you are living in the way God wants you to live. I want you to teach others to love God's way too. This makes God happy. The people nodded, understanding what Jesus had to say and excited to make a difference in the world. Jesus wants you to let your light shine, just like in the song that we just sang. Everyone do your prayer hands. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful day. And thank you for letting us all be a part of this Sunday school today. Dear God, please bless. Who would you like for God to bless? I would like for God to bless everyone watching. And I would also like for God to bless all of our friends that aren't with us today. Amen. Have a great week.